Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to create angled or slanted text for your headings. Now, this is something that you might want to try on your headings if you've got long headings and you can use word wrap and maybe basically your columns are going to get pretty long and one way to go about that is to make it angled or slanted like this. So I'll show you how to create something like this. Let me go ahead and just copy this. Just control C to copy, go into sheet, and then I'm just going to just paste the values. So hopefully it won't copy, it won't copy any formatting. So how do I get this here? Actually, it's quite simple. Um, in the alignment group, if you're in the home tab alignment group, you're going to see this orientation icon. So once you click on it, it'll tell you a little description on it. And if you click on this, you have several options. Um, we can go have it counterclockwise or you can have it clockwise you can even have it vertical uh, and just a lot of different options and the one that I showed you earlier is this one whoops it's this one so this is our first step to creating that but if you if you notice our borders still don't have that slanted orientation so once you once you create this from the orientation icon here, what you need also need to do is have the borders uh, rotate. So I'm going to go here under Format Cell Alignment, and it's going to bring up the Format Cells window. And in there, go to the Border tab. Oh, before I go there, you can also notice if you bring up the Format Cells, and you didn't like that 45 degree alignment that it defaults to, you can actually change it. You can move it around to whatever type of alignment you want. Uh, what I've seen popular in the web is between 30 degrees and 60 degrees and that's probably op optimal for that type of slant if you wanted something to go from the bottom left to the top right. So let's just leave it at 45. So let's go to the border tab now. So in this border tab basically you want to have the outline created for your columns here. So I'm just going to go ahead and select outline and one thing that's missing here when it's selected is it doesn't get the inside. So I want to go ahead and click that because if you just kept this it's going to miss the the cells in between. So this basically will get the whole border of what you selected. So what I want to do is also include that middle border each for each of the columns here. So once I click OK you can see now now it's created that. But you also notice that it's a little bit off here in terms of the alignment. So I want to have that alignment instead of aligning over to the left, have it to the middle. So I'm going to select this again. So you don't really need to go into the orientation tab, but you can if you wanted to. There's also the cells group under format, and you want to go to format cells. It's going to bring up the same window. Um, and what you want to do is you want to have go back to the alignment and have this horizontal be centered. So what it's going to do, it's going to center it in the middle here. Once I click OK, you'll see now it's done. I can also do some more adjusting, select these columns, and just double click to auto fit. Or if I double click, let me just select one, I can double click that and that auto fit that one. So you see now that the extra space before and after the text is reduced. What I can also do is just select the column and go under Format and go under Auto Fit Column Width. And you can see now it has done that. So the rest of it now is just a little bit of formatting to make it look nice. So I'm going to do is select this range here and just instead of opening up the format cells you can also go under here under the font group and have the borders selected here. All borders. And then for this to make it the same as I had in sheet 1 I'm just going under cell styles click accent and go under items here and select another accent. I think I had green here. And so that gave us a nice little contrast here for the borders. And if I wanted to make this even look even better, I'd get rid of these grid lines here. And so what you can do is go under view and under the show group, just uncheck grid lines. And now you have a kind of a nice table with the angle or slanted headings. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.